Hello, this is Bob Dickinson from InnoVice, and we're going to talk about the EPA Swim CAD or Climate Adjustment Tool for, for Swim 5 and how that works with InfoSwim and H2O Map Swim. So we click on our Swim CAD, CAD um, program, and what we do is we give it a location. So I'm going to enter a zip code finds a lat long and you know, we can de determine whether it's a far term or near term future projection period whether it's hot dry medium change warm wet since this is Florida we'll, we'll go with warm wet and far term and what it does is it gives uh, monthly av averages or changes for um, temperature evaporation rainfall you have a 24 hour design storm with different return periods under the different scenarios. So here's warm wet, a lot more rain, um, and a lot more rain than the uh, medium change in hot dry. And what we do is we can save adjustments to swim and exit. So we're going to pick a file, and I've already picked one file there. So we'll, we'll add that in as a five year storm, or the 100 year storm rather save and exit and it should come up here as a file with those um, numbers in there so here's our file let me um, so these are the adjustment numbers that we saw in that graph for temperature evaporation rainfall so let me close this because it's getting too too big there and i'm going to switch over here to info swim or to h2 a map swim and what I'll do in H2O Map Swim, after I shrink the uh, shrink the model, is I'm going to import that file that we just made. So import import swim what I call swim cat export and what we're going to do is since e since InfoSwim is very flexible is about um, importing data we're just going to import those adjustments nothing else we just want to get that the adjustment so we import that so now we imported we go to operations go to climatology and we look at the adjustments and The adjustments here. So here's what we just created inside of Swim Cat. The monthly adjustments for temperature, evaporation, and rainfall. So it's very simple to use the Swim Cat program with InfoSwim and h 2 a Map Swim. You run it externally after downloading it from the EPA, and then run it in, um, then and then save the results. So thank you for listening, and we're going to move on to a new subject.